Okay, so this video is for Zakir over here. As far as I understand, what he's looking for is wanting to create services as a custom post type, um, but be able to have it so that he's got a standard template for content at the top, content at the bottom, and then the actual post content in the middle. Um, but having that so that he could create that middle content using bricks. Uh, instead of just Gutenberg. So I've worked out how I can do this with um, using a Jet Engine custom post type. You can use whatever CPT uh, creator you want. Uh, the process is exactly the same. But I'm going to show you what I've come up with using Bricks. I'm going to start right from scratch. So I'm just going to work through it as I go. So back to my scratch site, which is empty as far as that goes for the moment. I'm going to go into my Jet Engine. And post types. I'm going to create a new post type called service. Okay, with my service, I'm going to leave it pretty much default settings. So I'll have a, I might just change the icon so it's a looks like a service type icon. I'm just going to leave the title and editor as they are. I don't need any meta fields for this. I'm just going to do all of this through bricks. You can add meta fields here if you want to add some dynamic stuff that you would edit through Gutenberg. But at the moment, we're just looking at bricks. I'm just going to create a very simple, basic custom post type. So that is all I need to do. Hit the uh, create. And on the left hand side, now you can see I've got service uh, there and I can add a new one. Now, what we're going to do first is go into bricks settings. And I already just did this before, but it will show under your post types here what bricks editor is available for. So just make sure you enable it for the custom post type that you've just created and hit the save settings. And that lets us use the bricks editor for that post type. All right, so what we're going to do is now head over to our services and we're going to add a new service. Now in here, I'm actually going to use this to create my first um, header and footer, which I'll, I'll do shortly as well. I'm just going to call this service A for now. Service A, and we want to edit that with bricks. And I'll publish it straight away. So I'm just going to hit the publish button up there. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create my call to action header and footer, which will be templates. So you can add those wherever you like. So first thing we do is add a section. I'm going to give it a bit of a background. Maybe this one will give a dark background too. I'll just use some, um, I've got ACSS here, so I've got all sorts of colors and whatnot here. So I'm just gonna use maybe a dark background for that. Uh, add a, just a heading. And we'll call that CTA header. Uh, maybe service CTA header. And we'll just make it white, just so we can see it. So this isn't the styling I would normally use, but it's just a very quick run through, so we can get something in there. Uh, we'll then add a, maybe some basic text, and then a button. Uh, and the button, strangely, went above it. Bricks is doing some weird things since the last update. Um, and on this text here, I'll just make that uh, maybe a light gray color. And we'll give our uh, layout here a little bit of row spacing. So row gap, we'll maybe make that 3 REM. All right, so we've got something there. And we're going to then create a duplicate of this. And we'll call this our CTA service footer. And that could be two totally different templates. Right, so on the first one, I'm going to right click. I'm going to save that as a template. So save as template. Give it a name that makes sense. So we're going to call this service uh, CTA header and it is a section. Get out of there. Right click on the second section. Save that and that will be our service. Ah. CTA footer, and that's also a section. Save as a template. 
Okay, and now we're just going to delete everything from this page. We're just creating the header and footer that we're going to use in our single while we're here. So we're just going to delete everything from there. And now we're just going to create our post for our service A service type. So I'm just going to add a section. I'm going to add two boxes inside that section. So I'm just going to add some blocks. Block, block. Uh, my container. Set that to a grid. Let's make it a... 5REM gap and just do 1FR. I'm just doing this very quickly. I wouldn't normally do it this way, but I'm just doing it very quickly so we can get something in there. Uh, in the first block, we'll add a, let's add some content. I'm just going to go some rich text there. Got some Bob Ross Lauren Ripson ready to go. So I'm just going to copy some of that. Uh, I'm going to delete that heading. I'm going to use a post title here. And we are going to then add the post title. Strangely, sometimes when you do these things, since the latest Bricks update, they just don't show up in the editor uh, until later. So I don't want to be hitting one, I want to be hitting two. Leave that there. Chuck an image in there. Did that even work? No, image. Select any old image, maybe we'll use the beach. Okay, then we've got a, there should be a post title above this, and then we actually will put some, um, this container here, that block. Let's give it some row padding on that as well. So we're going to give that a row gap of, say, uh, 2 EM. That'll do for now. Uh, oops, made this in the color. Right, so this is our first post done. So I'm going to jump out of there, go to my services. Now I've got Yoast uh, duplicate post on here, so I'm just going to clone this post and do a quick edit. We'll call that service B. Oh, wrong one. Put in the wrong order there. So we'll do a quick edit. Call that service B. And we'll just edit that with bricks. Okay, and that's it there. We'll just change the photo maybe, just so it looks like it's different. So we'll change that to these power lines. So we have a different post there. Is that just called service? Did I not name it correctly? Okay. So there we go. We just saved our second post. So back to our services. There we go. Ah, I did. I changed that to service. Should be service B. Right. And now we've got two posts. Actually, I forgot to change that from uh, draft. So just publish that. So we've got two posts ready to go that are based on a service custom post type. Now we need a template to display these. So we're going to bricks, uh, templates, I'm going to add a new. I'm going to go service. Um, we'll call it single standard. We'll do it as standard because we might actually have a different template for a different category of service. So we could call it standard for this one. And we're going to set that as a single and publish it. Hit it with bricks. We have settings, template settings, conditions, and we want this to be for a post type of service. So what we need to do there. Now we're going to insert a template widget, and on that widget there we're going to get the service ETA header. That's it there. Okay, and then we're going to insert another template. And on that one, we're going to make that the service ETA footer. Okay, and then we're going to insert a section. No, we're not going to do a section. We're just going to do the post content because we don't want that in a section. So we're just going to drag that into the center. And on that post content, we're going to tell it we want it to render with bricks. So that's the trick. You've got to tell it to render with bricks, otherwise you won't get any content. Save that. 
All right, now, just being certain, we've got our page settings, conditions, we've got that set to the right post type of cells. Okay, so that's done, ready to go. Now, let's have a look at our post now. So I go to service, and I right click on the view on the first one, and open that new tab. Service B. going on here? Oh, another funky thing I've got going on at the moment is with permalinks. When I've added these service types, normally when you add the post types, it automatically updates the permalink structure. For some reason, it started going funky on me. So let's go to services now. Try that now. There we go. So service B, there's our post title. All of the center section here is our post content rendered as bricks. The top is our service um, header and the bottom is our service footer. So if I render this one, if I go view that one, so there we go. So I've got service A and I've got service B. So let's go back to our bricks templates. And I'm going to go to my CTA header, edit that with bricks. And I'm just going to put a modified. Modified word on that. Save that. Uh, the footer, it with bricks. Modified. Okay. Now, if I come back to this um, single for service B, I now got modified in the header, modified in the footer. If I refresh on service A, got modified in the header, modified in the footer. Add a new post. If I go to my services, create a new one. It can be completely different content, or I just clone this. Uh, do a edit with bricks. Maybe I'll swap those blocks around. Swap the blocks around and maybe I'll change the content on that one. Um, maybe we'll change the photo on this one. Okay. So. Services. Oh, again, I forgot to hit the, hit the uh, publish on the uh, in bricks, so I'm just going to publish that from there. And that is, we sh should change that to C. Okay, so three service types. If I view this uh, bricks, uh, sorry, service type C, same header, same footer, but I've got bricks generated content in the center here. Now I think that's what was being asked for over here. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what's being asked for. Now, the other thing with this is what you can do is in your template, what's our single template? So if I added a taxonomy to this, if I added a jet engine uh, taxonomies, I'm gonna add a new taxonomy, called service type. Okay, and that's the service type there, and it is hierarchical, where's my hierarchical? That's what I need to do with that, I think. So we're gonna save that. Uh, 
right, for the post type, we're going to add that to where's our services. There we go. There's a service. We're going to add this post, this uh, taxonomy to service. Okay, and under services, now I've got a taxonomy. So I get service type, and I'm going to go uh, cleaning and repairs. I've got two service types now. Now, if I go to my posts. Quick edit, service type C, I'm going to put that on. Cleaning. And we're going to put it on repairs. Okay, and on the, I'm going to update that. And on the service B, and by the way, you can also do a, just a Gutenberg edit on this. So you can go into say service B, and on your service type here, you can add it there. Actually, that's added as a tag. I've added that incorrectly. Let's go back. Engine, meta boxes. Oops, not meta boxes, jet engine. Economies, service type. Ah. So I put the wrong hierarchical on there. So you've got to make them hierarchical, otherwise it puts it in as a tag. Update that taxonomy. And now if I come back to my services, so I do a quick edit, I've got tick boxes instead. Uh, if I go to, uh, to edit in Gutenberg, under my service types, I've got tick boxes here. Update that. And service three, I'll just do a quick edit on that one. Got well, that on repairs. Okay, so when you're creating your bricks templates, let's say you've got some services that are cleaning and some that are repairs. When you create your templates, if I go into my single template here, uh, I'm not going to clone, I'm just going to go and edit with bricks. Okay. When we go into our conditionals for the template, so our conditions are that it's got to be a post type of service, and we want to have a taxonomy of terms of being cleaning. Okay, so that would create a template with a header and a footer based on a service uh, post type that has the taxonomy of cleaning, so of service type of cleaning, okay? And you then do the same thing for the repairs. So repair service. So you can have different templates depending on what the category is. So that's how you can sort of have the same base source of posts for your services or whatever it is. And then you can have different templates applied based on what terminologies have been put on there. So that's pretty much it. I hope that makes sense. Uh, if uh, you need any clarification, please let me know in the comments. Uh, otherwise, if you like this sort of thing, hit the subscribe and hit the like. Thank you.